Bonjour and welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are uh, Thursday, yeah, uh, December the 1st. Jesus fucking Christ. Dishwasher 2016. Uh, so, yeah, uh, big news. Francois Hollande won't present, you know, won't be a candidate for the 2017 election. Like, he, it, for, you know, the last maybe two years, he's, uh, maybe even just uh, this year, he's been pretty heavily hinting at the fact that he would run for a candidate uh, because there's, you know, the primaries of the, <laughs> of the Socialist Party. But, uh, yeah, um, apparently no one um, in his uh, close, uh, you know, close circles, you know, uh, knew that he would say that, like, he went and did a little address uh, acknowledging, you know, his uh, shortcomings and as well as saying that, I mean, I did my best and uh, for, for most of what I promised, I guess I kind of, you know, uh, didn't go back on my word, <laughs> uh, which you know, just will need a bit of fact checking on that. But uh, yeah, and uh, said that his only regret was um, uh, proposing that people should be stripped of their citizenship uh, if they wanted to attack France, which is, you know, in itself not a terrible idea, but uh, it's completely opposite. You know, it's just contrary to human rights. I don't think that uh, human rights say that you can uh, strip someone of their only, uh, of their just their one citizenship, you know, if they are only French, if they have dual citizenship. I guess it's more, you know, legal limbo, but it's just you can do it. So yeah, uh, but you know, <laughs> Um, I think he did the right decision. Like um, people say that uh, in his in his book, uh, President shouldn't say that. He said that uh, it was a bit of be, be being a coward by that uh, saying that you don't run because you think you cannot win. Uh, but then again, uh, if he runs, he takes the risk of me of having the far right. Uh, running the country for far for five years so yeah uh, he said also that he doesn't want to split the votes on the left but then again there's still Mélenchon and Macron to do that so haha <laughs> um, at least you know if if Valls wins the primary of the of the the Socialist Party I know that I'm not voting for them at, at the first round um, if my my candidate you know uh, the candidate uh, for which I would vote is Benoît Hamon because he's far more on the left than um, than uh, Hollande and Valls, you know, that are pretty much the same, and even Montebourg. Uh, Montebourg is a bit too liberal for me, so yeah, but still very central. So, but still, um, but I mean, if Montebourg goes through, maybe I'll vote for him. I have huge reserves about Mélenchon. Uh, reservations, reserve reservations. I don't know, but I'm not too sure about Mélenchon because you know I still agree with his ideas. I still agree with his program. I just think that uh, the person continually shoots himself in the foot. Like tonight, he was on, he was on the on one of the 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 news shows, and uh, he was having the exact same reaction as the right uh, to um, to. Uh, to Hollande saying that he won't run. He was saying that he was pretty much admitting that he failed, while other people on the left said that it was a very, you know, very strong message, a very uh, brave thing to do, because, you know, that's actually a brave thing to do. Um, when you are, it's the first time that a president decides not, decides not to run uh, after their first run. Um, Chirac decided to go out after his second run, so yeah. Uh, though I don't think he had the choice. I think that's that has been voted under either Sarkozy or Hollande, or Hollande that you cannot do more than twice uh, consecutively. Um, but I guess you can still do that, like in Russia, uh, going coming back after uh, someone else has done a run. I don't know. I have, I have to check that. Um, so yeah, uh, just uh, he could have done. He could have run for president. He couldn't even run outside of the the primaries of the left, of uh, the Socialist Party. You know, it's kind of tough to say of the left because there's only going to be the Socialist Party, it seems. Not even the ecologists are going to be in the in the race, so yeah. Um, so, but he would have definitely, you know, lost the, the vote of the left, uh, you know. So
So, uh, yeah, I guess that uh, now the Socialist Party has even more chances of being in the second, in the second uh, uh, round. Or maybe, you know, I'm I'm kind of split. Maybe will I will vote Macron. I don't know. Maybe I will vote Mélenchon. Maybe I will vote for whoever wins the the Socialist uh, primaries if it's not Valls. I'm not sure. You know, the other parties on the left, they are just here to be part of the democratic process. You know. Um, only the, the hardliners will vote for them, yeah. So yeah, and um, something else pretty crazy happened uh, yesterday night. Um, Toronto won 5-2 against uh, Montreal in the away leg, the second leg of the conference finals, with at the 19th minute a header, wonderful header inside the six-yard box by uh, Benoit Cheroux. He was, you know, he was not, in, he was, I mean, the, the defender was a backpack, literally. There was even, there wasn't even a uh, covering him. It was even, you know, uh, worse would have been literally being a blanket over him. But no, uh, Benoît Chiru, uh one of the most, you know, technically um, talented players uh, in in midfield in Marseille history. Uh, a shame that he left. You know, because of issues with Van Salabrun, but then again, you know, if the club had been so like two years ago, he would still be playing here. And maybe when even with Bielsa, like Bielsa likes a good midfielder, and we also love a good midfielder. Having the control of the midfield is very important. So uh, yeah, you cannot go against that. Um, <laughs> just you know, uh, that's a guy like he if he had actually played in the national team instead of just being on the bench he could have been a mainstay i do believe that like he was very very solid and uh, it's just a shame i mean he's been part of the victorious campaign in 2010 uh, won three uh, the three league cups being uh, consistently at a uh, european cup level you know either it either uh, <laughs> the Champions League of the or the Europa League. I do believe that in his seven years, he was the best warrior we had. So yeah. Um, uh, what can I say? What else uh, is there? No, just nothing. Uh, on to NXT then. Um, NXT was a little bit, you know, on the uninteresting side of things because, you know, uh, this Saturday there is the 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 show in Osaka where um, Nakamura challenges Joe for the NXT Championship, um, which is a bit strange. That they advertise it as a rematch, but I thought that uh, the match at Takeover Toronto was a rematch. So yeah, for either of the two, it's the swan song of on NXT. Either the loser is pretty much set to go to the main roster. That you know, that's probably the kind of why they advertise it as a rematch. But yeah, we'll have to look into. And the Kamuraz title defenses, I guess. Um, so because they didn't really have anything to do with the show uh, today, um, oh well, w Wednesday, yesterday, uh, and even worse. I mean, it was in Ottawa. There was the, the SmackDown uh, stickers on the posts. Uh, it was the the main roster Titan Tron. So I I guess that it was filmed on the Tuesday after Survivor Series, so last week. Um, and you know. Uh, understandably, uh, therefore, the crowd wasn't that hot. Um, so yeah, uh, the first match, you know, was um, Asuka versus Nicole Matthews. Yeah, probably that uh, local performer, local because she was from Vancouver. And even if you don't know the geography of Canada, you take a map of Canada, you, you see Vancouver, you see Ottawa, you look at the scale, and you're like, oh, there's there's quite a chunk of the country to go through uh, to say that they are, you know local uh so yeah she made quick work of nicole matthews oscar and then you know backstage she was interviewed and uh said that um she wanted competition for her title but uh couldn't find any uh you know she was afraid that that there wasn't any left which is a very important left so yeah either we're going for a heel oscar you know full of herself and all that but then again, there's like Billy Kay and Peyton Royce already uh, filling that role, even though they haven't done shit uh, besides bullying Liv Morgan. Or she could be going for you know the same way as um, as Neville be before his uh, last match, you know, for the NXT Championship against against uh, Sami Zayn. Yeah, last uh, Takeover of 2014. 
uh, being still face but full of himself well full of herself um you know this being thankfully honest uh bit you know a bit on the truthful side of things but she was she was honest there's nothing on her level nobody on her level currently so yeah um then there was a little backstage thing with uh with uh, Samoa Joe being interviewed you know defending his title this Saturday and he was like he's kind of over he's not even on the same level as me nobody is the same uh, is on the same level as me and uh Dillinger arrived and Ty Dillinger arrived said nobody is, in, is at the same level as you wow that's a bit bold and uh, uh Joe was like you just got emulated in Toronto don't you you don't want me to emulate you in front of your country give me a reason why you should be in the same ring as me and he said I have about 10 reasons and uh, guess you only need this one and he slapped him around the face like Dillinger looks like he's ready for the the main roster people have been saying all, all everything everybody uh, talking about him has only said good things ab about him even just Rhodes said that what can I do with this guy he's ready he's ready so yeah Apparently, uh, Dillinger could have been called up just so long ago, but I do think that he needs, you know, a, an NXT title run to um, to legitimize, you know, his status. Um, and you know, just before the match, he said that he really needed to see if he to prove himself, you know, to see if he really belonged here in the WWE. We will say, because on NXT, like mm, being a little bit, you know, under. Uh, underestimating yourself here uh, so yeah there was uh, Eric Young versus um, uh, No Way Jose No Way Jose really strong like but then again there's the there's the the members game like he had he had you know just so many people to go against he had to fend off Alexander Wolf and and uh, or Wolf I don't know and uh, and Sawyer Fulton and then when he was about to win, uh, he was pinning Eric Young, and Nikki Cross was distracting the ref, and just gave you know enough distraction for for uh, for Young to go through with his own finisher and win the match. And then it was beat up, and Rich Swan wasn't there obviously because he was uh, just you know a couple uh, hundreds I would think of miles away in Toronto. Uh, <laughs> Or somewhere in Canada, you, uh, live events of Raw, and uh, you know, as it looked like he was over for, uh, for Jose, you know, as uh, just oh God, I can fi finally rest in peace. Uh, he got drop, drop kicked in the face, missile drop kicked in the face, by Nikki Cross, because she's crazy. Haha. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the main event was Joe versus Dillinger. Great, great, great match from Dillinger. He looks like he can hang with the best. You know, he was even close to put on uh, the the tiebreaker against um, against Joe, and uh, yeah, no, Joe. To be fair though, Joe had to go until the Coquina Clutch, a championship-winning move. That's uh, what how he won the championship from from Finn Balor. Remember, a championship-winning move to win against uh, against Ty Dillinger. So yeah, good for you, Dillinger. Like it looked like he was. Was uh, the the time for the call up, but he's involved in two matches uh, in the in the December tapings. One uh, for uh, the first show of December, and then one for the last show of December. So yeah, um, and apparently it involves also the NXT Championship. So maybe there's such a run in the in the cards. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, there's the live event in Osaka, but only the the championship match will be taped for next week. Next week's. Uh, next T show, so uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.